The Great Buzz Frenzy by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Cremel. Woof! Violet? No! Violet, where's the ball? Down it went. Boink, boink. Run for your life. Thump, thump. Watch out below. Rumble, rumble. Help, help, help. Blunk. There it sat, perfectly still. The prairie dogs waited perfectly still. Slowly they crept out, inch by inch, dog by dog. What is it? A thing. A good thing or a bad thing? A round thing. A strange thing. A scary thing. What should we do? Don't touch it. Shh. Is it alive? Stand back, boomed a voice. You act like a gut like gutless groundhogs afraid of your own shadow. Oh no, it's big bark. Big mouth is more like it. He's the meanest dog around. I thought he'd left town. Well, I'm back, growled big bark. So out of my way and let me have a look. But before anyone could move, Little Pipsqueak raced past Big Bark and reached out and poked the big round thing. No, yet the crowd yelled. It's fuzzy, said Pip. Ooh, the crowd gasped. A tiny piece of fuzz was caught in Pip's claw. And she looked at it and turned it and sniffed it. And then she put it on her head. Look at me. Ah, the crowd sighed. Quit hamming it up, you half-pint hamster, snarled Big Bark. I'm in charge. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They had to have fuzz. I like it. Me too. I want some. Do you? Oh, yes. So do I. So do we. So do they. Big Bark, move over. Get out of our way. And they charged past him and they grabbed at the fuzz. The prairie dogs pulled it, puffed it, stretched it, fluffed it, tugged it, twirled it, spiked it, swirled it. They fuzzed their ears, their heads, their noses. They fuzzed their feet, their tails, their toeses. Big Bark was beside himself. Listen to me, you ridiculous rodents. Stop this fuzzy foolishness. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They were busy being hot dogs and silly dogs, corny dogs and frilly dogs, top dogs, funny dogs, super dogs, bunny dogs. You're all nuts, you squirrely fuzz freaks, yelled Big Bark, storming off. News of the fuzz spread from hole to hole, burrow to burrow, and town to town. Soon, prairie dogs from everywhere were coming to see that fuzz. They came, they saw, they picked. They twisted it, braided it, danced and paraded it. It was a fuzz frenzy, a fuzz fiesta, a fuzz fandangle. The whole prairie was a buzz about fuzz. They picked and pruned and pulled and pinched. They pinched and pulled and pruned and picked until the fuzz ran out. The big round thing was fuzzless, naked as a plucked chicken. Some prairie dogs got a lot of fuzz. Some got a little. Some got no fuzz at all and they were mad. Give me that fuzz. Why? Because it's my fuzz. Well, it was. Get that fuzz. Get that fuzz. Pulling, 
grabbing, swiping, nabbing, poking, jabbing. It was war. War between the fuzzes and the fuzz knots. Their peaceful town was a battleground. It was a fuzz fight, a fuzz feud, a fuzz fiasco. I started this, moaned Pip Squeak. I have to do something. Everyone, stop! Stop fighting! But those prairie dogs didn't listen. The battle raged on, friend against friend, cousin against cousin dog against dog until no one was left standing. They were hooped, fuzzled out, fast asleep. Hours later, the prairie dogs began to stir. Uh-oh, where's the fuzz? I don't know. Where did it go? Someone has stolen our fuzz, cried Pip Squeak. Who did it? He did it. She did it. You did. I did, barked a voice from above. I stole the fuzz. The prairie dogs froze, and they raced up, up, up the long tunnel. And there stood Big Bark covered with fuzz from head to tail. I'm king of the fuzz, he snarled. Do you hear me? I'm king of the swoop. The sky went black. What happened? Where's Big Bark? Look, there he was, high above their heads, dangling from the talons of an eagle. No more Big Bark, the crowd cheered. Yay! Don't yay! He's one of us, yelled Pip. We have to save him. How would you like to be an eagle's lunch? No, the crowd yelled. Big Bark! Wiggle free, the prairie dog shouted, shake loose. Hurry, we'll catch you. Big Bark twisted and turned and wormed and squirmed, and at last he was free of the fuzz. Yay, the crowd cheered. Big Bark fell faster and faster. No, prairie dog scattered. Get back here, yelled Pip. Quick, make a circle, hold out your paws. They ran left, then right, then left. Wop. You saved me, Big Bar cried, but I stole your fuzz. Now it's gone forever. Good, said Pip Squeak. Fuzz is trouble, right? Yay, the crowd cheered. Friend hugged friend, cousin hugged cousin, dog hugged dog. We don't need fuzz, said Pip, but with Eagle around, we do need a watchdog. With a big bark. Big Bark rose up on his hind legs. Eagle's back! Bark! This is not a test! Bark! All dogs below! Bark! The prairie dogs raced down. Down, down, down the long tunnel. Whew! We made it! That was close. Three cheers for Big Bark, the best watchdog ever. Yip, yip, yay! Yip, yip, yay! Yip, yip, yay! Just doing my job, Big Bark smiled. Are we ever getting tangled up with the fuzz again, cried Pip Squeak. No! The crowd yelled, no more fuzz! No more fuzz! And from that day forward, the prairie dogs lived happily and fuzzlessly ever after. We don't know what's going to happen next. Looks like he's, Violet's bringing a fuzzy ball over to the hole. The end.